Welcome back to Mars Horizon, folks. We are ready to launch our space welding mission. So let's go ahead and do that. It's looking good. Plus 7%. Not bad. Only 2% risk of critical and 4% of negative. Let's go. Two. One. And... Jadius, you are on your way to space. We have liftoff. We've cleared the tower. And... Looking good. Looking good. All systems nominal. Go, 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 Jadius. You are in space, my friend. Very good. We have a secure launch. Very nice, and the Titan II gets a bit more reliable. Very nice. Earth space welding, October 1973. All right, so we have to contend with drift, but we have crew. So 12 and 18 we need. Okay. So we can do this with two of our crew, the manual data collection for four comms. Then we can use two of those comms to get five data. And then we can use data to do some orbital realignment. Yeah. All right, confirm those commands. Ooh, our reliability is horrible here. Let's resist that. Uh, I'm gonna accept this. Don't care about the extra data, and the orbital realignment was successful. All right. So I think we need to use our crew here to pull it back twice or two. And then I actually think we'll use our crew again. And then we'll do a flyover course adjustment. That was a power heavy turn, but it gives us a lot of nav, which we need. So confirm those commands. Uh, the commands output will be reduced by one. No, I'm gonna resist that. I want the comms. Flight path control is good. And the flyover course adjustment is not. Uh, we want that nav, so we're going to resist it. Okay. Now. We have two turns left. Now we can do this three times. Or we can do this three times. Let's do that three times. Confirm. Hopefully we don't have to resist too much. Uh, I think I'm gonna accept this one. God damn it. Uh, it'll be increased by one. I'm gonna accept that. And we're gonna accept that. Okay. So we need to pull this over to 
So that's that. And then we can recharge. And do that. And that gives us our 15% bonus ward. But we can't. We can't resist anything. Shit. That's okay. I am perfectly okay with that. Nice. Alright, good job, guys. Well done, Jadius. Conduct mission EVA. 7, 5, and drift. Okay. Alright, so we're conducting mission EVAs. We need 14 comms and 10 data. We have drift to contend with again. 35% bonus award for this. Okay, we have 7 power. Right, so we're going to do this. That gives us 2 and 5. And then we can do... Hmm. No, I think I'm gonna do uh visual spectrum sampling. Takes us to two and eight. That's a pretty good place to be. Alright, we're gonna have to assist. Maybe. Yeah, we're gonna resist it. Damn it. I am gonna accept that. And we're gonna accept that. Alright, so two and seven we're at. Okay. Now... We're gonna do this, this, and this. That takes us to 6 and 10. Yep. Come on. Ah. It seems like it's failing more than half the time. We're going to resist that. We need all the comms that we can get. And... I'm going to accept that. And the ground control connection is good. All right. Six and nine. We're at. Okay, now if I do this, then I can do this. And I can do this. So that takes us to... Seven and fourteen. Now I need I'm gonna need seven next turn then, which means two times this, that's four, and one times manual data collection, that's eight. And that gives it to us. Alright, confirm. Nice. Infrared mapping was good. And the external sensors are aligned. And the data transmission was not so great. Uh, I am going to assist that because I need that. So, that. A manual data collection and then two ground control connections. That gives it to us and we can resist all three failures. Well, two failures that we're going to get. There's one. Assist and yep, assist. Okay, very nice. Then we need to perform a controlled re entry. We already have to contend with heat. So, five and seven and heat. Uh, 
so we already have a 50% bonus reward, and we can get another 50%, so that's a 100% bonus reward we can get on this one, if we do this. So let's do it. Uh, 10 comms, 14 nav. Right, that's a good start, I think. Four, two, and three. Yeah, that's a good start. All right. First, the manual data collection goes off nicely. Conducting experience is hard. I know, Jadis. I know you're a scientist, and it is hard to conduct experiments. We're going to accept that. And ground control connection was not so great either. I'm going to resist this because I want the two data. All right, we got two heat. We need to keep it under three, which is very low. All right, so we're going to do that. Then we're going to do that. And then we're going to do a flyover course adjustment. Yeah. That takes us to nine and eight. We have five power remaining. All right, four power remaining. Uh, we're going to assist that. Accept that, of course, and the flyover course adjustment. Uh, we are going to assist that as well. And the heat goes up to three. So... Let's do a conduct... Let's conduct some experiments. Actually, no. Yeah, then orbital realign. And then a ground control connection. Then we just need to do a ground control connection next turn, and we have one. Confirm. Nice. Nice. An extra nav. I'm going to resist that. And the heat goes up to four, but it doesn't matter anymore. But we can just do this twice and recharge. And then we're more than there. Our heat is 100% uh, in the green zone. And the orbital realignment went off without a hitch. And there we go. We are heading home. I hope you had a nice trip to space, Jadius. And welcome home. Nice splash down there, and we're coming to pick you guys up. We are coming to pick you guys up. Alright. Very nice. So, 2,088 support and 942 science for five months and reinforced tank walls. That was a good mission. And you have earned your six months recuperation, guys. Now, it's a bit weird because ward here is on a reward, but it only says ward, so why does it say Jadius Tibidus? Uh, so uh, we could just do that, so he's just called Jadius? I don't know. Uh, let me know what you want, Jadius. Do you want to be just Jadius, so you just have the one name here, like everyone else, or do you want to be Jadius Tibidus? Up to you, mate. I'll leave you as Jadius for now. Alright, 
So that was mission done. Uh, we have a mission slot now. We have a nice amount of science coming in for our Skylab. How is it looking with the space station here? They're still not planning the mission. Good. Um, we have this request mission here. This one we're already doing. We're already doing this one. There are no missions over here. So the only mission that we really can do right now is the atmospheric sensors. So let's do that. Uh, I guess it's going to be a standard. Or we could add some nav. We can't add nav. So it's going to be standard. Very horrible payload reliability. We're going to have to uh, do training on reliability, I think. All right. Colossus is complete in three months. The Mariner 1 is complete in three months. The Comsat is complete in four months. And Mars Lander is launching in four months. Next month. We have a new mission here. Atmospheric measurements. Not the greatest. Next month. And next month, EVA astronaut interviewed. A news program has interviewed astronaut uh, Honoré Ward about their agency's recent space welding mission. The astronaut told of a surreal moment when a spatula broke free and floated away into space. After it was used to, to apply heat-resistant gel to a heat shield, it was my favorite spatula, Honoré Ward lamented. Okay, 200 support, not bad. And oh, we are so close to getting the next tier of support. All right, Mariner 1 uh, is ready. And the Lunar Radiation Vehicle is complete. Let's do launch preparations for that. Training. We'll do science, I guess. Uh, actually, no, we'll do payload reliability. Because that is horrendous. We'll launch in May. Confirm. And then we have atmospheric sensors ready so we can. Reuse a design here, but can we switch to the Agena? We can. So let's do that. Make it a bit cheaper and more reliable. And the launch reliability is quite good. Um. I think we'll take the composite casing here to make it a bit cheaper. Build that vehicle. And we're launching the Mars lander next month. And our comsat is complete. So that is all good. Skylab research complete. Traffic tracking payload complete. And our Mars lander is ready to go. Let's launch. We're heading to Mars and we're landing on it. Let's see. Adequate conditions. 3% risk of blowing up. 11% risk of a negative event. Let's go. 4, 3, 2, 1. Ignition. And liftoff! 
We've cleared the tower. Oh shit. I think it's gonna blow up. It's gonna blow up. It's gonna blow up. Our Mars lander is gonna blow up. God damn it. There was a 3% chance of it, and it hit exactly 3%. Come on! Come on! Seriously? Minus 750 support. We're still the only ones with the research. So I actually think we're going to do the space station instead. We're going to put extra crew on it. It's going to be an expensive mission. God damn it. That was our Mars lander that just went up into flames, man. Build that payload. We're going to research the Hermes, because that's the space shuttle. And I want that. 5,600. Damn. Well, we need to build this. What a bummer, man. Uh, we'll reduce the cost. Uh, let's call it GPS, uh, because that's effectively to what it is, traffic tracking. Uh, build that vehicle, take five months. We're launching lunar radiation in three months. GPS will be complete in five. This thing will be done in six. What is that? That has to be the atmospheric sensors. And then the Skylab is complete in eight months. Space Station Campaign Proposal. Your PR team have proposed an educational campaign based around your upcoming Space Station mission. Part of the campaign will involve high school students submitting ideas for experiments to be carried out by your crew on the station. I'm going to fund that campaign because that sounds like fun. Campaign approved. You have approved the campaign. Your PR team note that its effectiveness will be dependent on the success of the mission. Of course it will. Don't blow up, space station. All right. Next month. Man, that sucked. That really sucked. All right. Next month. Lunar radiation. Let's go. 82%. Launch reliability. We have adequate conditions. 4% chance of blowing up, so we will probably. And a negative event, 13%. Come on, guys. Don't blow up again. Don't blow up. Don't blow up. Don't blow up. Don't blow up. You didn't blow up? Well done. Oh man, I can't believe our Mars lander blew up. It took such a long time to get it going, man. And then it just goes boom. Able got a bit more reliable. All right, perform translunar injection. This is our diplomatic mission with NASA. Six and four. Okay. No matter what, we're going to have to use power twice.
And then... Hmm. Then I guess this. So that gives us three, zero, and one. That's not a great first turn, man, but it is what it is. Alright, payload alignment is good. And trajectory optimization is good. Alright, now we need to pull this back. So we'll do that using two power. Then... Man, the only way to get data is these. This is a tough one. We're going to need a lot of power. Like that. Confirm. And we're going to have to assist this, maybe. Uh, cost an additional... I think I can accept that. Okay. Actually, I couldn't. Um, well, if I do this and this, it puts us there and it puts our uh, drift where we need it to be. Okay. And trajectory optimization went very well. All right. Translumer injection done. Next task. Lunar orbit. All right. Oh, I didn't mean to click there. I like those cutscenes. Uh, okay, we need eight data or eight comms, six data. Okay. So if we do this. Then we can get our six data next turn. Confirm. And we're going to resist that. Orbital realignment went well. And the second orbital realignment didn't really align. And we're going to resist it. Alright. Um, I'll do this once, and then I'll do this twice. That gives us four and five. That seems pretty good to me. Nice. A hundred percent. An extra nav. I'm going to resist. And I'm going to resist again. Okay, four and five. So we can actually do this once. And I think I'll recharge. And recharge again. Because then we can just do the antenna alignment next turn and we have achieved it. So let's do that. Alright, mission data update didn't go so well, but we will fix that. And then we can do that. 
and that gives us our 50% bonus reward. Very nice. And we have the power to resist. So, resist that. And there we go! We are in orbit, and the mission is complete! That gives us 332 science for 3 months, 219 support, and 17 relations with uh, NASA. Not bad. Achievement unlocked, shared space. Uh, so, let's see NASA. They're friendly. Plus 5% joint mission comp contribution and plus 2% science income. Nice. All right. I think it's time to um, launch our Mars lander again. We'll give it an extra power. Build that payload. Six months. Man, that was a lot of... Uh, Effort that just went up into flames, man. All right. Rival agency offers payload upgrade. China has offered your agency an advanced piece of software that will grant a 10% improvement to the payload reliability of Skylab in your space station mission, which is currently 80%. However, they will need access to some of your technology to suitably adapt them programming. No, you're not getting access to my technology. It's 80% reliable. I don't care about the last 10. Alright. GPS is complete. So we need to plan the launch for that. Minus 10% payload reliability kind of sucks, but the launch reli reliability is nice. Uh, training will be payload reliability. And we'll launch in... October. It's a lot of money that we get from this. Confirm. Alright. Then we have our next mission ready. Atmospheric sensors is complete. Mission training bonus is increased by 100% plus 100% liability penalty for suboptimal launch windows. Jesus. Okay. Well, we're going with science. Look at that science, man. Look at that science. That is wonderful. Ooh. No, we're not going with science. We're going with that. Just look at that payload reliability. What? There are no invalid launch dates ever. Minus 40% launch reliability penalty. We're going to have to wait until November. <laughs> okay. Man, that sucks. One year, three months. Man, that sucks. All right. Traffic tracking in two months. Skylab is complete in two months. Vesta is complete in three. Funding review in five. All right. Japan just completed Mercury orbit, orbit as the second ones to do that. Minus 50% upper stage build cost and plus 50% upper stage build time. Hmm. Alright, traffic tracking is ready to launch. Let's do it. We want money. And it's raining. Of course it's raining. I'm gonna go anyway. Continue. 5% chance of blowing up. We know it can happen. We know it can happen. Looking good so far. good get up there puppy come on baby get up there oh yeah and let's get a secure launch please thank you no mission effect very good 
So Atlas and Agena are maxed out already. All right, I do love these satellites. They look really cool. All right, we have Drift to contend with, and we need to collect 20 nav. So let's do this, a signal return test, and then we'll do two flyover course adjustments. Luckily our payload reliability is reasonable. Not that reasonable, no. Damn it. I'm going to resist it. Then we can do an infrared mapping. And we can do two orbital realignments. That takes us to 10, and our drift is within the parameters of the mission. That's all good. Dang it. Uh, Oh, I don't mind it we're being reduced by one drift. So, accept that. And accept that. Okay. What? It's the last turn? You nuts? Okay, we can do that. No, we can't. How the heck? We need to do this twice. So we need... Okay, we're not getting the bonus reward here. The 25% bonus award. That's not happening. That's for sure. It's just not happening. It's not possible. Okay. That's a shame. That's a lot of money that we don't get. Oh, wait, did I? Mission failed. Damn it, I didn't think about drift. That was so stupid. If I'd only done it once, then we would have at least succeeded. Okay, that was ridiculously stupid of me. Ridiculously stupid. Well, we're doing a broadcast satellite then, because we want the money. Man, that was stupid. Sorry, guys. That was so stupid of me. So stupid. I don't believe how stupid that was. Jesus Christ. All right. Well, we're designing our space station launch vehicle. And the only thing that we have that can do it is the Saturn II, so that's what we're using. And the only thing we have that can do it is the Saturn V, so that's what we're using. 1.7 mil. Um, it's quite reliable, so... Either we do the composite casing or we reduce the build time one month. I don't think the build time really matters that much. 15 months, 16 months, doesn't matter. So it'll be like this and we'll reduce the cost. One year, four months. Man, that was stupid. Stupid, stupid, stupid. I am really sorry about that, guys. That was just... 
stupidity at its finest. All right, Vesta is complete. Mars Lander plus 25% vehicle build time, or minus 25, but also minus 25% science reward. That's not okay. That is not okay. That is quite unacceptable, actually. Damn! Well, three months to build the launcher. Next month. Design flaw discovered. Your engineers have discover discovered a design flaw in stalwart. The launch vehicle in your upcoming space station mission may estimate a 10% reduction from its current launch reliability of 81%. Correcting the flaw would cost 400,000. We're going to correct the flaw. Flaw fixed. All right. We are out of time, guys. Man, that was just so stupid. But anyway, thank you very much for watching and uh, sitting through my painful stupidity. And uh, I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> so uh, thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.